Hi guys, Postman's Bin. I think you can probably guess what we've got in here. Batteries. Um, I know what they are. A little bit frustrating, they've arrived a little bit later. Uh, so I could have used them on that Mini that I was converting to Hobby Grade. The Red Mini. Uh, I converted it and made a 3S lithium ion battery using three 18650 batteries. Now, if I'd have got what was in this box, I could have done it without changing the batteries, or at least without changing the battery pack at all. Because these should be 14500s, which happen to be the same size as AA batteries. Obviously they're higher voltage than a AA battery, so you can't just put take five AA batteries out of a radio control car and put five of these in, because you'll more than double the voltage. In fact, you'll nearly treble the voltage, because your standard lithium-ion battery, well, they, they rate them at 3.7. They're actually 3.6, I think. Not that it makes much difference, because that's the uh, nominal voltage. When they're fully charged, they're over 4 volts. Still, we've got six of them. Can't remember how much I've paid for them. No idea if they're genuine ultra-fire. 2,800 milliamp hour. The ones that I used in here are 1,200 milliamp hour. So... These should be more powerful than them. A couple of problems with buying them. At the moment, I don't have a dedicated charger that will take 14,500 batteries. So I might well uh, make myself a charger. I've got one on order, but I could 3D print one or even just modify a battery pack like that because... When I make these, I make them by pinching the battery out of one of these power banks. And in there, you've got the charging circuit, obviously, because the idea is you plug that into your um, USB socket. That charges this up. And then when you want to charge your phone up, you plug that in there and plug that in your phone. So there is a little charging circuit in there, and because I've taken lots of these apart, I've got lots of those charging circuits. So I can get one of these, take out some of the joining strips, because we don't want them all joined together, and I could then just wire up every other one of them to one of those chargers, and I can charge them up, not two at a time, but and in every other socket. So I'm going to think about that. I might do that as the next project. Because what I was going to do, I've been up in the loft again, because I was looking for a suitable radio controlled car that I could just swap out the existing AA batteries and put in a couple of these. This one takes five AA batteries. Five times one and a half is seven and a half volts. Two of them is also seven and a half volts. 3.7, 7.4. So two of them in one of them would give you the same power, more or less. But obviously you need to have some dummy batteries to fill in the gaps, because you only want two of them in there. You could just solder a bit of wire between the third position and the last position and just have those two there and that would do it. Or if you watch my previous videos, I was toying around with making a dummy AA battery that I could plug into a LiPo or lithium ion via a JST lead. So when I made that one, I printed off a load of dummies. I need to top and tail them so that they could do the same thing. You can buy them ready-made. In fact, I've got, got some on order. 
but I might finish making these as well. So there, you need a bit of wire from the top to the bottom so that they're just straight through. They're just dummies. Um, and then I could use them to fill in the gaps. So you'd have those two there, and then fill in the gaps. And then you're off and running with lithium ion. Obviously, you have problems getting the right number. In this case, it's ideal. Five of those, or at least five double A's, as I've already said. Five double A's, seven and a half volts, two of them seven and a half volts. So you've got a straightforward match. But if you've got, let's just say, you've got eight double A batteries. Eight times one and a half is 12 volts. So three of them would give you 11.6, is it? Yeah, 11.6 volts. Whatever I can't figure out in my head. <laughs> 11.3 or something. I mean, again, it's nominal voltages. It's actually higher than that. Three of those will give you more than 12 volts when they're fully charged. Nominally, oh, sorry, fully charged, probably 4.2 volts. So three times 4.2, 12.6 volts. So in that case, you want three of them in there and five dummies. If they've only got four AA batteries in your car or whatever, then you've got a problem. If you put two in, you're going from four times one and a half, six volts, six volts to seven and a half volts. So you're putting a 50% increase in voltage. Or well, you just put one of them in there. Instead of six volts, you've only got about four volts. So you've got less voltage. So four is a problem. Five is ideal. And did I say, yeah, and eight. Eight is ideal. Other than that, you've got to take a, you've got to make a choice. Do you want to over voltage it or under voltage it? So uh, that was a long post bag, but I've explained what I plan to do. I'll probably do a couple of episodes. One making up a battery charger, three D printing one, and one converting that one to lithium ion batteries. I'm looking in there and they are a little bit, oh those don't look too bad on that side but the ones on that side look very rusty. Ah, so rusty they've just fallen apart. So not the ideal choice that one. I might have to try and, well I will have to replace the springs in there. Terminal springs. Okay, or use a different car. just there. I think I was thinking about doing this one as well. Right, that one just uses three volt, uh, three batteries. Three times one and a half, four and a half volts. So one of those fully charged 4.2 volts. So one of those and two dummies and that one should be okay. So we'll see. I might do that because it would be quicker and easier. That one, I've got to sort out the springs, the connectors. Right, very, very temporary lash up here. So, so I've got a charger on order, but I would like to try these batteries. So what we have here is three of those charger modules arranged so they're charging those three batteries. Those charger modules come out of one of these, or three of these to be exact. So they're probably designed to charge for a 1200 milliamp hour battery. So they'll be undercharging these. These are supposed to be 28 milliamp, sorry, 2800 milliamp hour. 
supposed to be. All I want to do is try and get some charge in them anyway, see what happens. So we'll leave them for a while. Uh, just trying to think. I wasn't actually going to include this in the same video, in the post bag video, but I will just to show it. That's as quick and simple as I can arrange at the moment. That's quicker than trying to 3D print a proper battery charger. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.